Hello children, how are you today? I hope you're fine at home, you're safe and you're studying well. So let's start with our maths class for today, which on the page 103. So we will continue with our topic parameter. In our previous video, we worked out some parameter word problem questions. Parameter, you have to find out the parameter of uh, rectangles and squares. For today, we are going to find out perimeter, how to work out perimeter of triangle. So let's start on the page 103. Take your pencil and your book should be in front of you. You will follow in your book. Let us read the examples. The perimeter of the isosceles triangle PQR is 26 meters. Find the length of PQ. So you have the perimeter of a triangle. Now what is the meaning of isosceles triangle? I hope you remember isosceles triangle has how many equal sides and angles? Two equal sides and angles. You have isosceles and equilateral triangle. Now equilateral triangle three equal sides. Okay, so for now, as you see this triangle, you already have the perimeter. You have to find the length of PQ. So QR is 7 meters. Okay, uh, QR is 7 meters. So you have to find the length of PQ. So you have to note down PQ and P PR. PQ. PR, the, the sides will be the same. So you are going to take the perimeter minus the length. 26 minus 9 is equal to 19. This is for PQ. Then uh, now that PQ and PR are the same sides, so you will have to divide the answer by 2. 19 divided by 2, 9 and a half, 9.5 meters. So this is your answer. I know you are familiar with this topic as you did this in grade 5 as well. Let us continue with example 2. The equilateral triangle KLM has a perimeter of 214 millimeters. Calculate the length of KL. Now, an equilateral this one, so all the three sides are the same. Now, if the perimeter is 240, you will have to find the length of one side. Obviously, you will have to divide by three. Then, each side is 80 millimeters. So you have to work out these questions. We will take a look. The perimeter of the triangle shown below is 7 meters, 45 centimeters. Find the length of side Z. So this is a triangle. One side is 1 meter, 25 centimeter. The other is 2 meters. You are going to find the the one side, what are you going to do? Very easy. You will have to add the two sides and the, uh, the perimeter will, you will subtract the total of the two sides. You will find the answer. Let us move on. 29. A triangle has a perimeter of 84 centimeters. Two of its sides are of length 15 and 37 centimeters respectively. Find the length of the third side. So I'm not going to explain. You already know the answer. Uh, you already know how to work out and how to find the answer. Okay, so these will be in your copybook. Let us move on. Okay, let us move on. Word problems, page 104. Page 104. Let us read question number 30. The triangle and the square shown below have the same perimeter. What is the length of the square? 
so if you have it you have a triangle you have all the sides are given so it is easy to find the perimeter of the triangle so now that you have the perimeter of the triangle then you will already know the perimeter of the square as this they ha, uh, they both have the same perimeter but here it has asked you this the length of the square so the square has four equal sides so it will be very easy to work out this in your copybook you are going to write the perimeter of the triangle you are going to work out your answer in centimeters then the perimeter of the square is the same as the perimeter of the triangle then how are you going to find the length of the square Our next question, exercise 31. X is an equilateral triangle, meaning all the three sides are the same. Y is a square and Z is a rectangle. You have a triangle, square and rectangle. All three shapes have the same perimeter. Calculate the perimeter of the square, the length of the rectangle, and the length of one side of triangle okay so which one is the easiest for you to do right now the easiest will be to find the perimeter of the square because you already have one side of the square if you have the one side then it is easy to find the perimeter how are you going to do this all the sides are equal you only have to multiply by the number of sides then you already have the perimeter of the square now the perimeter of square uh, triangle and rectangle are the same so if perimeter of the square you already got then what about the perimeter of the triangle obviously it will be the same here it is asking you to find the length of one side of triangle so if you already know the perimeter, you will know the length as well. Okay, now if you have to find the uh, length of rectangle, you know the width. So how are you going to find the length? We already did this uh, uh, in our previous pages. How are you going to find perimeter? In your copybook, you are going to write as follows. Equilateral triangle has three equal sides. So the square also has all the sides equal. One side of the square 22.5 centimeters. Then the perimeter is what? You will write the answer. For the rectangle, the width of the rectangle 20 plus 20. The length will be what? I'm already giving you what to write in your copy book. You only have to work out and calculate and write your answers. The perimeter of the triangle is the same as perimeter of the square. So what is the length of one side of the triangle? You are going to write your answers. I hope that's clear for you. Let us move on. Let us move on page 105. Continuous assessment. In the beginning of our class, we did some conversion meters to centimeters, kilometers to meters, 
Okay, so number one, two, three, four. Very easy for you. You will have to convert addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction. Number four, what is the length of the pencil sharpener? So you have a ruler in front of you. You will check zero to six in the picture are centimeters, and the small line in between are millimeters. Number five, a dressmaker has 20 meters of ribbon. She cuts seven pieces of length, two meters, 45 centimeters each. What is the length of ribbon left? One ribbon, one piece is equal to two meters, 45 centimeters. What about seven pieces? And how much is left? Very easy. Anita cycles 1 kilometers, 115 meters. Her sister Vinita cycles 115 meter, meters less. What distance does Vinita cycle? The length of four bars PQRS are as follows. Both P is equal to 495 meters. Q is equal to 0 0.494 kilometers. R is equal to 49 1300 centimeters s is equal to 495.5 millimeters which part is the longest let us take a look okay let us take a look the exercise the question we just read page 105 exercise 7 so here what can you what can you observe? The four paths, PQRS, the length, which means the units are not the same. The units are different. You have meters, kilometers, centimeters, millimeters. So you have to find the longest. How are you going to do this? You already know. I hope you already know. You have to convert all of them to the same units. Okay, let us take how are you going to convert the same units. One thing you can do, you can convert, you have to convert the units. Convert all units to meters. Let us take a look. If you convert all units to meters, it will be very much easier. Post P, 495 meters already. Post Q, it is kilometers. What you should do to convert kilometers to meters? One kilometer squared to how many meters? 0 0.494 kilometers squared to how many meters? Post R, 49,300 centimeters. Okay, so centimeters to meters squared to what? Both S, 495 millimeters. Millimeters to meters equal to what is your conversion? How are you going to uh, convert this? Then, when you have already found all the paths in meters, it will be very much easier for you to find the longest path. You are going to write your answer. Okay, children, I hope you have been able to understand this. All about perimeter of triangle, a rectangle, and square. Okay, children. Okay, we are going to continue in our next class. Other topics. So, for today, your homework... Page 103, 104, 105, all of these in your copybook. But page 105, I think question 1, 2, 4, you can attempt in your book. The rest in your copybook. So do all your homework. Take care. 
Stay safe at home and revise. Study well. So see you later.